Welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I'm going to be making a majesty flower and I really want to do it in shades of blue and silver to kind of make it look wintery, you know, like winter snowflakes. I don't know, not pure white, but just blue, shades of blue and silver. I think that'll look really cool. I'm going to use the Cascade Mold. I have this. It is a, um, a piece of filigree. It's metallic. I got it on Timu, but I have a link that's on um, on Amazon that I'll share with you in case you can't find it on Timu. Last time I looked on Timu, they were out of it, but um, they might have it now. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to push that down in here. When it's time for me to use it, I'm going to spray it with a little bit of alcohol just to get in between the little holes there so it doesn't... Um, doesn't leave little air pockets. All right, so I'm gonna start off, I'm using Art Pro Resin. This is my white. This is Let's Resin Ocean White Pigment. And I'm gonna put that in a piping bag here so it's all ready to go. Then I'll be on the way. I don't have to worry about messing with pouring it in. That's what I always like to do first. Pour the white. All right, so now this is Liquitex Prussian Blue, which is a beautiful, beautiful color. This is Dollar Rowney. It is the Dollar Rowney Turquoise, which is also a very beautiful color. And then I have um, Silver Mica Powder I used. Where is it? This right here, I'll put links to everything in the description. I don't know how to say this one. It's loc.do, looks like. I will put a link to that. And then finally, my clear I'm using. I just got this, it's so pretty. It's Glimmer Ghost Blue. So what that means, and I wasn't quite sure what it meant, it's kind of like an interference, but the interference part is it's like little tiny pieces of glitter. So it's not a regular interference. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it has little specks of glitter and um, they're blue. So it's really, really, really pretty. It's just very subtle. So I got that for my push. And I think I'm gonna stand up and make sure this is centered before we start. I think that's good. All right, so I'm gonna start off by pouring the blues. I'm gonna pour the dark blue around the outside a little bit, then I will spray, and then I'll pour the light blue in the center, the turquoise. I always end up going back to like base words like blue, red, when maybe I need, I mean violet and navy. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna start this off this way. Then I'm gonna spritz the center and then add the turquoise in the middle. And as long as you don't like, like really violently pour your resin into the center, um, that little uh, filigree piece in the center, the little medallion is gonna stay. And they have different metals of the medallion. I have silver and gold, but they also make like a bronze, and I'm not sure what other color. The one I linked to on Amazon had, I wanna say four different colors, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But anyway, I will link it so you can check it out yourself. All right, there we go. Now pour the rest of the turquoise in the center. I love doing shades of the same color. I think they look so cool. Very, very cool. All right, now I'm going to pour the silver at the junction of where these two colors 
meet. And obviously it's not gonna be perfect because they have shifted some, but for the most part, they'll be right where those two colors meet. I think the thing I'm most excited to use in this is the push with that glimmer ghost blue. They make all kinds, that's eye candy by the way, if I didn't mention that, and they make all different kinds of um, ghost, glimmer ghost. So I'm excited about that. I, I'm gonna have to go buy some more. I got these um, for the Black Friday sale and I just got little containers, little baggies of it because I wanted to test and make sure I'd like the colors because I do have some other eye candy mica powders and they're gorgeous, but I don't, um, I ended up for some reason when I bought them, I bought like the biggest container they make and I don't like all of the colors. Like, I mean, the colors are nice, but they weren't what I wanted. Like one of them is a red, but it's, it's really pretty, but it's more of a pink than a red. And so I actually got the kind of red that I wanted when I was um, buying for this sale right now. All right, so now let me just toss these up over here and I am going to cut the piping bag and we're gonna do that part next. I did try to, I made a little bit extra white because the last time I did this in my last, one I made last night, I ended up having to mix up a little extra white. So hopefully I will do okay and not run out. My white is leaking out of the bag. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to do my little loop-de-loops around, and I start on the outside, and that actually pushes things inward. And I've always thought these look like lowercase cursive E's. The very first time I did them, I thought they looked like little lowercase cursive E's, but I got into the habit of calling them loop-de-loops. So that's what we're gonna do is loop-de-loops. And I'm gonna go all the way in to the center. And I'm gonna wind up my bag a little bit because I was losing pressure there. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the same thing over again and do a whole another row of the loop-de-loops. And then I'm going to go in and, and just do everything all over again. I'm going to repeat it. And you can see I've got this really beautiful, almost filigree-like pattern in the middle from all the white. All right, so now it looks like I might have enough white. I'm hoping. I did use quite a bit, but that's okay. It's all right, no big deal. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause this while I let everything move in. I'll put it on a time lapse. I just don't know that it's gonna do a lot or that I'll even use it, but we'll try. Here we go. All right, I am back. Don't have a ton of white left, so I really hope I can make this work. If not, I'll have to mix some up. But I'm just gonna do another row around here. Ah, I'm gonna have to mix up a little more. All right, hold on just one second. I'm just going to do that really fast. Mix up a little bit more. I should have just not added the extra. 
like not made extra to begin with because then, <laughs> then maybe I wouldn't have had to stop. All right, let's do another little bit. Come on, get in there. All right. And I'm not going to bother to put it in the bag. I'm just going to mix it up in here. And then I'm going to pour it from the cup. That way I don't waste a bag and waste time or anything like that. So, all right, let's do this. I'm going to pick up where I left off and I'm going to continue to make it kind of far apart. And then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to go around again since I've got the extra white and since I kind of made the loop-de-loops further apart because I was trying to stretch it to make it. Just trying to kind of use that up. All right, I think that's enough. <laughs> that's enough all right okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this in the center gently I'm not gonna there we go I'm trying not to overfill this I made one last night and it was blue the same colors and oh my gosh I overfilled my mold and then it it erupted in my um, pouring curing machine I mean and yeah, thankfully it doesn't stick to the bottom of the curing machine. But I was just like, are you serious right now? Are you serious? All right, there we go, that is it. Now I'm gonna just let it kind of close in and do its thing. I do have a weird space right there. I'm not exactly sure what's causing that. I wanna put another loop in there, but I also don't wanna mess things up. So I'm gonna leave it and hope that it closes up. Um, I'm going to sit on that urge to just add something I shouldn't. All right, so I'm going to um, turn this off. I'm not going to do a time lapse because I am working on something else. But I will see you when it's time to unmold, probably in the morning. Thank you. See you soon. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. I closed up, it looks like, but I don't know what it's going to look like on the other side. Ready? Oh, that came out really pretty. Oh, I hate that my centers are always off. But oh my gosh, that came out so pretty. It almost looks like a snowflake flower. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching with me. And I will see you next time.